So have you guys seen this? This this is really funny, right? Uh, this is courtesy of Thick Boy, and it features Brendan Shaw confirming that there's going to be a next JRE fight companion coming up soon with the original crew um, on JRE happening sometime soon. All right, Jim, what do you got? All right, since we're I talking can't wait about... for UFC 291. We will have a Calvass fight campaign for that for UFC 291. That's two weekends from now, July 29th. Then August 5th, you have the original fight campaign crew doing a fight campaign for um, Corey Sandhagen's fight. And that's on JRE with Eddie Bravo, Brian Callen, and myself. Oh, cool. Yep. That's August 5th in Austin. That's also the Jake and Nate. Yep, that's right. Santa Hagen versus Nurmagomedov. So, in my opinion, most likely, there's a, there's a chance this might not happen, right? There's a chance this might not happen. Because we've seen as the last fight companion happened, um, Rogan cancelled out of the blue because um, young Jamie had to go on a golfing trip that suddenly came out of nowhere. And I think Rogan at the time, I think went on holiday. I forgot what he did. Did he go on holiday? I forgot what he did. Something happened. So he cancelled that fight companion and it felt like it was out of the blue. Because Brendan kind of found out a couple of days before he was meant to go fly out over there to Austin. And obviously the kind of thinking behind it is also it's a bit of a brutal thing because most of what we've seen so far with Rogan when it comes to Austin and people come into his studio, especially if you're a comedian, it's mostly tied to you performing at the Comedy Mothership. So when you go and perform or go and have an interview on JRE, usually because you're in town anyway performing at the Comedy Mothership. So it's kind of brutal that Brendan Shaw and Brian Callen get to go on a fight companion with Rogan and then don't get to perform at the fucking club at all. That's a little bit harsh. You know what I mean? Um, but also, you know, it kind of, I guess, is what it is because, you know, Rogan doesn't want any bad blowback from having, you know, an alleged rapist like Callen at his show. And obviously, he doesn't think Brendan's funny enough to perform. If anything, I think if I'm Brian Callen, I'm probably more okay with the fact that Rogan won't let me perform at his club because he, he doesn't want any blowback from me being accused of racism. Oh, sorry, racism. Of raping somebody, right? But if if I'm Brendan and Brogan isn't booking me because he doesn't think I'm funny enough, that I'm going to take very personally. And that I'm going to hurt my feelings. Because, like I said before, in the early parts of Brendan Schaub's career, Rogan was happy to have him on shows with him at, at a comedy store. That's why I said a really unpopular opinion before that I always think, not always, but I kind of feel a little bit bad for Brendan in that respect because I feel like I can understand if Brendan feels like he's entitled to be given a set at the comedy membership, if that makes sense. Because if Rogan was okay to have Brendan on his shows at the comedy store back in the day when Brendan first died, when he was horrible still, then why not have him now? Objectively, he's you know, got more years underneath his belt. He's more experienced and shit. Why not invite him now in the comedy mother shit? Like, why now has suddenly Rogan got a crisis? No, Rogan's finally now got fucking um, principles and morals and whatever it may be when it comes to who we kind of platforms. But all those years ago, he didn't. So that's the only thing I'd be a little bit annoyed about. But I think if you're Brendan, you're probably shooting yourself in the foot confirming these dates so quickly. You don't need to, you don't need to confirm this date so soon, sorry. You need to keep it to yourself because the last time it got cancelled last minute, it was kind of embarrassing. And I think the reason why he probably does this is to probably counteract the narrative he's probably saw online of people saying him and Rogan aren't that friendly or aren't that cool anymore, which I still believe. No matter what he says, I still think him and Rogan aren't as cool as they once were. And my gut feeling is that him saying what he said about Rogan um, slanging dick back in the day, essentially in part you know revealing the fact that he believes rogan cheats on his wife i feel like that fundamentally changed the nature of their friendship forever it's never been the same since then and of course all the things have happened since then um the whole annie lederman stuff the kalila stuff him trying to fuck basically bobby lee's girl getting rogan involved by trying to bully bobby lee and stuff by using rogan's name bloody blah, blah 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 and the fact that you know gringo papi come out and it was horrible and if you believe what brendan says all of his friends told him not to put it out but he still put it out anyway so i think because of all those things clearly clearly those guys aren't as friendly as they once were. That's my only opinion. I think so. That's the case. So I think Brendan does this stuff where he, you know, will get a little bit excited and announce stuff like this to kind of try and clap back at the haters and prove that they're still friends. But it kind of harms him in the long term because, you know, shit may happen, shit may change, and then this might get cancelled and then you look fucking horrible. So he didn't need to talk about this stuff so early on, so soon. He could have kept it to himself. Um, and waited until the time came but again he wants to try and prove the the, the haters and the doubt is wrong 
And in actuality, it's just going to end up hurting himself because more likely than not, this will end up getting cancelled again because I'm quite surprised that Rogan would want to have these guys back on his show when it seems like he's not, you know, sorry, when it seems like he's kind of moved on and he's got new friends now. So the fact that he wants them back on there is a bit surprising to me, but maybe I'm the redacted one. Maybe th that is the case and he actually is more friendly with them th than he leads on. But I don't really think that's the case. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Actually, let me, let me, make, that, let me make that little poll on a thing. Uh, do, uh, let's see. Uh, Will the JRE fight companion with Brendan and crew happen on, was it August 5th, he said? What, what, what did he say? Doing a fight campaign for um, Corey Sandhagen's fight, and that's on JRE with Eddie Bravo, Brian Callen, and when myself. Is that? Is that? Oh, cool. Yep, that's August 5th. On August 5th. Let me see what you guys think on August 5th. Um, uh, what the Jerry for the work of with, with, with the da, 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 it's no it's, it's, what you, it's what you guys say. Let's see what you guys say because I don't I don't think it's gonna happen. I think it's gonna be another cancellation personally. Something's gonna happen lastminute.com. Um, maybe because you know Rogan said it when he was happy and excited and high or something. But I think it's gonna get cancelled again. Let's see what you guys think in the stream chat. What do you guys think? August fifth. What do you guys think? Uh, da, 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 da. No, let's see. See what the votes are saying here. Get get your votes in. I personally think it's going to get cancelled. I think he's preempting it. He's being too hasty. He should fucking chill out and wait. Um, he doesn't need to fucking go so quickly. You know what I mean? 